Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an intro using Photoshop and Sony Vegas, and it's going to look kind of like this. So let's get started. We need to open up our Photoshop, go up to File, New, not open. Go to File, New, and then what you want to do is choose the preset film and video, and then choose the size as HDV, HD, TV, 720p, 29.97. If you record in DAZ or any of that stuff, just choose this preset as well. Uh, it'll make the width 1280 and the height 720 uh, pixels. So we'll start that up. Now first we want to make a background, so double click the background, get it so it's not locked. And then uh, what I like to do is I like to fill the background in with black switch to whatever color I want um, let's do a, a nice blue today uh, go to the brush change the brush to uh, 65 and then change it the whole way up to uh, 2500 kinda center it doesn't have to be perfect and there it's gonna give us like a, a bright uh, background in the middle and then a dark background on the outsides next let's add our text and uh, we're just gonna type intro I guess that works and then we're gonna make it 200 yeah around 200 uh, it all depends on how long the text is whatever size you want and all that stuff we're gonna go to color overlay double click it go to color overlay change it to whatever color you want I'm gonna make it a nice white and then you want to put a stroke on it and then you can choose whatever color you sh uh, stroke you want and then make the size 3 then what you want to do is you want to hold down control uh, make sure the intro is clicked hit control and then hit J it's gonna make a copy of it and then hit right on your directional pad and then do it again and again and again and again do it five times that way you have five copies and then as you can see it looks kinda of 3D so then we're going to make sure that copy 5 is clicked. We're going to hold down shift, click in, uh, the first one, and then hit control E. What that's going to do is it's going to merge them all together. So then it's only one layer. Uh, then we're going to double click it, put on a drop shadow, just to give it a little outline. And then what we're going to do is hold down control, click the background image. The image, not like the, the actual background, but the image of it. And what that's going to do is select everything around it. Uh, then we're going to make sure that our pointer is selected, our intro is selected, and then click up here. It's going to line, uh, line it in the center on um, both sides. There we go. Now we're going to hit Control J again with our intro selected, or you can just go over and go to Duplicate, but Control J is so much simpler. And then with the new one selected, we're going to hit Control T, right click it, and flip it vertically. Uh, so now it's upside down. We're going to zoom out a little bit, and then that way we can scroll down with our our, uh, our down arrow key. And then we're just going to line it up at the bottom, kind of at the bottom of the, the word before. Zoom back up. And uh, this is going to be what we use to do the reflection. That way it looks like uh, it's reflecting off the, the surface. And that's about good. Then what you want to do is come down here to um, the layer mask, click that, make sure you're on intro, uh, the copy 6. Hold down the arrow on the paint tool, it will change the gradient tool. Make sure your gradient is black to uh, transparent. Hold down shift and drag from the bottom to the middle. And then do it one more time. And that's going to make it like fade. And then what we're going to do is come over here to the opacity of it and change it from 100% to uh, like 15. And that looks good. Now we're ready to start our uh, intro on Vegas. So what you want to do is you want to hide these. And then just make sure the background is up because we need the background. So we're going to go to Save As. We're going to make a new folder. Uh, make new folders. It's just easier so you know like if you're making a lot of uh, intros, you know which one you're working on intro intro whatever gonna put it in there and we're gonna save the background as a JPEG uh, just name it BG for a background make sure the quality is the whole way up make it look good and then we're gonna hide the layer of uh, well, the background and then open up the very first one so this one then we're gonna file save as 
but we're going to save it as a PNG right here and then we're going to name it as intro then hit OK make sure the interlace is none and then we're going to do the same with the reflection save as PNG intro reflect there we go and again inner uh, none not interlaced there we go so we're done with Photoshop now we're gonna open up our files in Sony Vegas uh, you don't really have to do this in Sony Vegas you could use uh, probably Windows Movie Maker if you don't have it drag all the clips in uh, put down the background first and then I like to make it a uh, zoom it up the whole way to five like where you can see individual ones and then give it like a five second fade right click hit um, new video track and then we're gonna drag in our our intro reflect here and then new video track and drag in our intro uh, you want them kinda lined up that way they will be uh... they'll come down perfectly you wanna click the event the event pan crop on uh... the reflection zoom it out with your uh, scroll on your mouse if you have that or um... there should be a yeah zoom here if you don't have that and then we're with the intro we're going to uh move it over so we can see it there we go there we go and now uh, what you want to do is scroll it the whole way up that way the intro goes off the screen and then the whole way up to the end and make sure it lines up with like the end of the the, um, um, the picture i guess and then go zoom up until you find 10 seconds right here and then scroll uh, click it and then scroll back down to uh to be level again like that and now as you can see as we go by uh you know frame by frame it comes off screen and then it goes on screen like that and then we're going to do the same with the intro this time we're going to scroll down though at first that way it goes up in the air then we're going to zoom in go to 10 and then zoom back up to line it up and there you go so now this is what we got uh, they both come down well the intro comes up the reflection comes up the intro uh, the words come down so it's like boom 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 yep and then you can edit it however you want if you want to fade you can fade it in whatever uh, the last thing is we're going to add a sound effect. Uh, the link for this sound effect is in the description. I got it off a website. And um, you can just click that and download it. And then what you want to do is uh, drag the clip in. And then uh, go to right where it gets loud. Go over one, two. That way you're actually in the middle of the clip. Maybe even three. Yeah, three. That way it's like right here in the clip. And then what you want to do is drag the intros so they line up. Um, that way the the loud noise is right right when it hits like that and then drag since they're both same you can drag them together like that and then you can click it at the end of the clip the end of the clip uh, which is going to be around like two seconds and fifteen of a second I don't know how it goes we're going to repeat it and this is what it's going to look like <laughs> kinda cool kinda cool effect and then just to render it go to file render as and then intro 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 whatever whatever you want to call it save it doesn't take long to save <coughs> sorry doesn't take long to save um, it's not that long and again you can change the backgrounds to whatever colors you want uh, you could also look online for other sound effects if you don't like this one and all that stuff but uh, this is what it looks like so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions please leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out and I'll talk to you guys later